Hello and welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned. It's Wellentag, the 15th of Sigmarzite. And uh, yeah, at the end of the last episode, the gods decided to play a practical joke on us and explode our leader. Fortunately, they were only kidding, um, but it does remind us that, uh, yeah, sometimes this game can be quite RNG heavy. Nothing can be done about that, unfortunately, but there we go. Let's see what we have available for us this time. Skull, skull, skulls. Okay, three mark for death options. This one, we're going for a walk in the fog. Brutal mark for death. Exceptional slash good. Great deployment options. The other two, just normals. Yes, don't even need to think about it, really. Um, yeah, we'll take the same loadout as last time. Um, could take an extra person in place of Velasco, I suppose. Who would I take? Aria Bayer? Yeah? Alright, let's take Aria Bayer out. I like taking Seven out. It seems like the correct amount for a game. It's rats. It's always rats. Um, we're in an okay position, I suppose. Makes very little difference. Uh, the fight's probably going to happen around here. <laughs> we could actually direct it all down this way instead if we wanted. Zantipe. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, Let's direct it all down here instead. So, Melusa. Uh, we want to put Milo and Polymusa sort of here as well. So, if I put Milo where I just was, then everyone else can get a bit closer here. Area Bear over here. Yep. Polymusa on the other side. Uh, here and Telepilea there. Milo all the way over here. So, they go first. They always go first. They are fast bastards. Fortunately, they're not very high on morale. Even with the way the AI kind of randomly creates the warbands, um, they are still bound by... Oh, that's quite a nice collection. Um, they are still bound by the initial stats of the units. Um, so, you can always be certain that the rats are going to be fast, sisters are going to be fairly high on morale, and so on and so forth. That's quite a nice shot. Two moons above. I wonder if there's a hotkey to remove the UI. So many rats. So many rats. Just, why does it keep flicking between... Oh, does it actually go physically left and right? No. Oh, it resets each time a different person takes a turn. Fair enough. I'm trying to get over to Milo over here. Wondering why we couldn't find him. What you doing, rats? No sign of any of them yet. I would be really surprised if I had, though. Now, the last time we went up against rats, we got absolutely swarmed by uh, advancing too fast uh, with just individual units. So, of course, naturally, that's exactly what I'm going to do again this time. I've seen some weird stone, and I want it. And, uh, yeah, there's no persuading me otherwise. I am going to try and be a little bit more sensible. Cutting off the corner, for example, will save me uh, nothing at all, actually, because of this fence in the way.
but at least taking things close to the wagon might save me a, perhaps a meter in total. That's close. I'll get everyone to chase as fast as they can. The very first turn, you normally don't need to worry quite so much. Normally. After that, it's, you know, anyone's guess as to where they would have gotten to. Trundle, 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 trundle. Polymeter really does have a nice move, actually. That is a solid distance. I'm sure this is fine. And then Milo, last of all. And you can sit on ambush there. And now we wait for all the rats to do their things again. Trying to look at what all the... Uh, Icons are for the different resistances and things to kill the time. They are picking up a lot of weird stone. They could be anywhere. They're probably here. Almost certainly there. So, I guess the fight might actually happen here. Or here. Bazarin, Grafer, and Snuts Scuttle are the two targets that we have. Bit of a fixed grin there. It's interesting, like, switching to people always seems to put you in profile view of them. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just unexpected. Zoom out again. Very nearly my turn. So, I guess... No, actually, I don't know who's 42 in their initiative. Someone is very slow. Wouldn't it be funny if it was their assassin? It's like the slowest assassin. Finally, Zantipe's turn. Obviously not our primary objective, but certainly worth collecting any time we see them available. Let's see if there's anyone we can see this way. Oh, we could actually see them all the way back there. Don't know why they didn't show up on our movement stuff before. So, who is that? That is their leader, Snuts Scuttle, and a night runner of theirs, uh, Sasquil Skulkmaster. That is a good name. Skulk master. I want to be a skulk master. Probably need to worry about overwatch shots and the like. Um, hmm, they also all get to go first, which is inconvenient. I mean, kind of, we get to go first, really. If I can get their leader to charge at us, we could cause some serious damage before they get to retaliate in any way. So if I were to do that, I would want to run straight at him. Mm, but then I get no defense. That's the downside. What? That's one downside. Okay, let's come back here for buffs. 
we shall spend this turn collating everyone, collecting everyone, and prepping for next turn. That's that's going to be best, I think. So you can stand here on ambush. You're going to be useful next turn. Aristomachy, just come catch up as much as you can. Really hope you can get close. No, you can't. Mind you, you were like, like miles away, weren't you? Melusa, you can at least. So you can stand here. In fact, you can go and prowl. Better than ambush. It's like ambush plus plus. So it's onslaught. That's good enough. Polymusa, delay. Uh, move a bit to here, actually, and then delay. Sigmar's my... Yeah, that covers everyone there so far. Still because it covers everyone, gives a little bit more flexibility, I think. Uh no. Let's um let's just stand here. Then delay. Give other people a chance to get into position first. So telepile can catch up, for example. By just bombing it right over here. Milo, I might actually move around to here. He can also wild pack. Uh, but if he does that, he doesn't get... So, how about from here? Ah, camera. Why Why would you do that? Why would that ever be a thing that anyone would want? Just out of range. It's fine. I think it's better this way. Uh, and then ambush, I suppose. Just waiting. Just for the moment. I move through to this side here try it here that gets everyone almost I mean over there by the cart it's just never gonna reach and then uh, ambush I suppose now their leader goes last which is good for us um, hopefully they run forward and engage us. I don't mind if the Night Runner also comes. If the Night Runner comes forwards and then the leader tries to help, in air quotes, uh, we can probably still take out the loss of them. This is a brutal difficulty game, uh, so we can expect them to have about 30% more health and damage dealing ability than normal characters. Now, where is he? Is he not coming down here? But, but we laid this giant trap so nicely for him. Otherwise, I suppose we need to pick which side of this wall we want to be on. The left? Yeah, left side. Or is it now going to be the right side? I think that leader's just picked up that bit of weird stone. Oh, he's coming down here. Perfect. Hello, telepilot. Well, Snut Scuttle is definitely dead. I mean, telepilot is taking a little bit of a beating, but that's fine. She is more than strong enough. So, Xantipo. Miss, uh, I beg your pardon. I, 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 what? That's better. So, Snuts is definitely dead. Uh, Web of Steel, sure. 
Melusa. Get a nice charge damage dealing thing. It's auto hit, so you're auto dead. Oh, things. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take the Shield of Aegis and the Mace of Perforation, I think. And then we will uh, get out of the way a little. I suppose just stand over here with Perception on? No. We'll just stand here and do nothing. Uh, Aristomachy, you can come and loot the remaining goodies. Just for cash. And then come stand here. Is there anything you could do here better? No, not really. So stand back here on ambush. Uh, area Bayer. Come forwards a little. You don't have prowl or onslaught or anything. So we'll take things a little bit carefully. Palamusa, advance. Could rebuff. Don't really need to yet. So just ambush here. Guess that leader did not pick up that cluster. I can see it over there. Why did I not pick up Snut Scuttle's trinket? I'm an idiot, that's why. Telepi layer. Should have put Polymusa in the middle for better positioning of buffs and things. This is fine though. Uh, let's do another howl. Really liking this. The fear is great. That's less good. I suppose on the plus side, Polymusa isn't stunned because she wasn't there. And the ambushes should protect. Us, I guess. Oh, well, Polymusa survived her stun resist, actually. I just saw in the combat log. So, Night Runner, where are you running to slash from? You're somewhere that's not here. I think that's the... Oh, you're on the other side. Hmm. Curious. And someone over there. Well, we could certainly start that as a fight. Do you want to come out and fight? Good work. Well done. Uh, my turn. Damn it! What is it with Zantipe and missing at the moment? There we go, that's better. Alright, alright, you don't need to quite be so brutal. Uh, just parry. Uh, Aristomachy. Come forwards and get that possible charge if you want. Uh, if we go through here, might be able to charge into this side. For a nice extra bonus damage. Uh, disengage. Just stay back here, I suppose. Melusa. Run up this side. Do the same thing. That was good. That was solid. Uh, that was not uh, one of our targets. Ooh, there's the target. Bazarin is a um, Globadia. Lovely. I hate Globadias. They are so annoying. Um, you've already got stuff. You can't take any of that. Area Bayer, come forwards. About here is fine. 
Polamusa also come forwards. I think get to about here and buff everyone. Probably best to just sit on ambush stance, I think. Because we do want to move forwards, but not too fast in one go. Stun recovery, advance. Ambush. I am slightly worried about Globadia coming over and being a bastard. But also, slightly worried about, um, yeah, other rats coming out of the woodwork. Milo, should we uh, try another fear howl? Good, you didn't kill anyone. Um, I think, yeah, go on ambush stance. You can't actually charge through anyone else, so that's a bit of a pointless thing. But... Nice. If he wants to run away, that's fine. We'll eventually find him. We'll deal with everyone else first, and then if it comes down to it, we will, I suppose, uh, take him out and get his token. Careful approach. That's useful because we have no ranged units at all. Polymusa punches him in the face. Miss. Ah, oh, only a 38% chance to hit. That uh, makes me sad for him in a little way. Oh, good hit though. Well done. Ah, 48% chance to hit, of course, because the ambush reduced it by 10% to start with. Xantippe. Now, who do you want to take out? Oh, I suppose loot first. Get that at least think come after the hero first let's see what that was prevent switch weapons oh no nice so he's definitely gone um, I suppose we could web of steel, or I could charge after the, um, yeah, maybe I should do that. Oh, I'm engaged, of course. Uh, disengage for free? Oh, I can't, because I'm psychotic. <laughs> uh, let's delay a moment. Yeah, I'm thinking of changing up, uh, chasing after the, uh, Globadia. Then sidestep. That's all we can do here. Aristomachy can uh, do a charge. Shame about the miss, but we can also sidestep. Area bear. Let's come finish this guy off. Wow, lots of stuff. Take all of that. And the sword of speed. No defensive options, but she'll be fine for one turn. Just end turn for her. And that's freed Xantipe up to be a pursuit runner through here somewhere. We don't know exactly where. Just the other side of this. Possibly. No. Probably just outside then. Can't see. Inside and on the other Did I just look the wrong way? No. No. 
Where have you gotten to? Upstairs. Upstairs, Ratkin. There you are. Wouldn't it be sad if uh, someone stopped you from running away? Sure. Now, uh, Xantippe is going to take a couple of punches, having no defense, but pinning this guy down, stopping him from fleeing, I think is more important for us. Polymusa. Please come and help out in this fight. So, Sigmas might buff everyone again. And then get some nice hits in. That's alright. Two hits is not too bad. Uh, parry. All alone check passed. Fear test failed. So it's going to have 10% reduced chance to hit. Uh, telepilot, I don't think there's any room for you to join in that party, so why don't you come and pick up this and then go into the house and see if you can uh, help against the Globadier. Don't think you can actually get into this fight on account of the... Uh... Oh, maybe you can. Uh, come on, you can fit through there. You're not that fat. Okay, you can't. That's alright. We'll put you downstairs on ambush as some sort of guard. Just in case of the very, very slim chance that uh, Xantippe does not do well. Um, let's make everyone fearful again. For failure. Might try it again. Not sure. 33%. Yeah. I can risk that. Um, then charge out here. To again. Just kind of look after this whole place. Back here on guard stance. We've obviously kind of caught sight of this guy somewhere. Mm, not quite sure where that is. Poison globe? Risky. Well, I mean, not for himself, I suppose. Resist. Nice. So 15% chance to crit is not great, um, but we might get lucky, even if we don't. The amount of damage we do in comparison to the amount of damage we take, I think, is going to put us in a very good position. Uh, so go Web of Steel. You'll be fine for next turn. Nice waste of the dodge. Almost, almost a kill. There we go. Uh, pff, don't care about any of that stuff. Where is this other person? Let's check them out. Over here somewhere. Yeah, like, just past that. Ah, there we are. Okay, let's um let's let's go say hi. No, oh, nice. Good work, Area Bear. Um Parry, uh disengage. I'll let someone else come into this first position and we can bring you in over here instead. Uh, and then you can parry. Just means someone else can get a nicer charge if they want. 
Like, we could charge in here. Could go Sigmar's Might buff first. Then we could charge. Or I could just walk in and get an extra hit. Another critical. That is very solid. Uh, parry. Really impressed with her parry percentage. 93% is very nice. Uh, Telepilea, you can come out and join in this fight. And I suppose disengage. Nah, go on parry. <laughs> Milo. Um, go upstairs, cause fear. Buff up, yeah. Basically, do, do all the magic stuff from back here. So, Winter's Chill. Ulrich's Gift. And that's all you really want to do, actually. You don't need to cause fear. Just end turn. Oh, they have passed their route check. That's good for us. Failed his all alone test and his fear test. There's another warp guard somewhere. Oh, another poison globe. Alright, taking some damage from poison this time. Let's see if we can do enough. It's going to be very close, I think. Like, if we hit, then yes. Fantastic. Yoink. Take all the things, thank you very much. Let's get out of that poison. Uh, that's a great camera angle. That is not a great camera angle. So down and... Ooh. Hello. Let's uh, parry stance down here. I guess that's the other warp guard. So maybe we should send someone over to say hi. Hi. Potential counter-attack. It's alright. Ah, oh, shame about the miss. There's the counter-attack. Oh, we'll go on dodge. Aristomachy. I don't think there's room for you to join in this fight. Not from this side. If we try and send you... Yeah, we can send you round the long way. Be a little while till you get there, but... Uh, area Bayer. I don't think that was necessary, but well done for ensuring that you get the kill. And that's it. I guess they went below zero on morale. Um, which, yes, I suppose makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, cool. Awesome. Victory. Surprising. Thought I had another kill to go, but glad I managed to pick up the token before we did that. Telepilea, nice advancement. Very good. Ariobea. I'm really liking Ariobea. Always do. A rank up for Melusa. Good work with a giant hammer. Zantipe. Ooh, is very close to rank 10 as well. Very, very close. Polamusa, rank 8. Cool. Four skill points, two more spell points, an extra offensive point. Aristomachy doing nicely as well. And Milo has reached rank seven. 
I was second guessing whether or not he should be included in this warband, but I am, yeah, I'm finding his position, like, which has largely been caused by the fact that he had that eye injury, has really cemented itself. He's a great support person. Now, what did we get? Uh, junk, junk. Eh. Junk. Uh, fair amount of weird stone, which mostly we took off the bodies of our fallen foes. A uh, load of stuff to sell. Three formulas. Um, but they're all blue formulas, so I'm less excited. Still nothing to complain about, I'll put it that way. Let's pay up keep. Uh, we'll go to the shop and sell things we don't care about. Intelligence and agility. Hmm. Don't think anyone is going to want that. Well, agility is kind of okay, actually. We'll put that on someone. There you go. Plus one agility. Increase your dodge chance. And then someone else can have just a blue one. Do I have blue ones on everyone? No, not quite everyone. There you are. Alright, back to the shop. Sell... Don't care, don't care. Absorption is really not as useful as it sounds like it could be. Uh, Shield of Steel is. Aegis is nice. I'll keep all four of those so I've got options. Sword of Speed, Cell, Hammer of Venom. Mace of Warden can go. Mace of Perforation can go. Got three blue light armors now. Probably don't need all of those. Certainly don't need the two white ones anymore. I think that's probably done. Alright, everyone's stats and skills and things. Uh, a bit more weapon skill for you. There you are. Just increase that hit chance and melee resistance. And of course... Of course, your parry chance as well. Um, you're fine for enchants at the moment. That's interesting. But at the same time, we tend to kill people before parrying. At least we try to. Yeah, that's one of the new ones that we just got, Rune of Jumping. Uh, that's just for jump down tests. So, eh. Uh, Aristomachy. Um, novice. So, we want uh, 9, 9, 10. So, you're getting toughness now, finally. Hurrah! Congratulations. Um, are you still happy with this blue great hammer? Or do you want something that you can hit twice with now? It's really your call. Normally, I would say switch back to a one-hander, but we did do this because we had the spare blue. So, uh, I could go either way. I think I, I think keep this for the moment. Uh, we are going to want to switch back to two-handers at max level for all of these novices anyway. Um, confirm. Actually, if I get back, do we want to enchant it with anything? Rune of Expertise would be nice. Possibly. Might just whack that on there. Because it's only 85. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Milo. I think we're going for a little bit more strength. Or a little bit more toughness. Let's go toughness first. And then under mental, a little bit more intelligence again. I don't think there's any enchants that we want for you at the moment. Knight, leadership and weapon skill. Soldiers, weapon skill, ballistic skill, squires, weapon skill, toughness. That's possible. I mean, just toughness, I suppose, would be good for him. Critical hit resistance would be the best, really. So, was that luck? I think. 
Can you even get luck on your chest? Probably not. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll go for Squires. It's kind of like a 50-50 halfway between them. Yeah, go on then. You can ha you can have an upgrade. Uh Velasca, nothing. Uh Anaxilia, also nothing. Flick flick flick. Telepi layer. You get a little bit more toughness. And then under mental. Um I have a bit more intelligence for now. Weapon wise you're fine. Shield of Empowering is okay. In fact, that is fine. Yep. Uh, area Bayer. We want a little bit more alertness and you get a bit more toughness here. Nothing really worth enchanting here. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, Melusa. A uh, bit more accuracy. Um, leadership and intelligence. And then I think you get a bit more strength up here. Yes, there you go. So after this point, it's kind of all going to be into toughness for you. But that is a solid loadout to start with. Zantipe. So, so very, very close to everything. Um... 1286. So there's your last point of toughness. And then we've got uh, 1299 is what I've listed, but of course we're well aware that that is very wrong now. Um, I think just going to put a bit of lead ship in here. I do like the extra stun resist, um, but we seem to be doing okay for that. I think the morale and psychological resist is going to be slightly more beneficial. Uh, oh, I should check in chance, actually. Of absorption? No. And no. Really, I want to put um, things of accuracy, uh, warhammers of misfortune, and a shield of shielding is my aim here. None of that. Uh, nothing for you, nothing for you. Are we done? I think we might be done. Yes, we are. Cool. Um, 692, that's okay. I'll probably hold off buying more um, gear for the moment, at least in terms of like enchants. Um, might be worth throwing someone into the training ring though. Possibly Molpadia. No, Molpadia is training at the moment. What do I want? Um, Prowl. Could send Anaxilia in to learn Prowl or Aristomachy. There we go. So we'll just swap you out, as always. So, um, let's get Alex Hellier out. There we are. Toxaris comes back. So I could send Milo off to learn something new. He's only got two unspelled skill points, uh, sorry, spell points at the moment, so I can't really learn any of those, but I could possibly upgrade his guard stance. Or his devotion. Devotion, I think, is probably going to be better. Just because of the, now we've started howling, I think that's going to be more useful to us. There we are. Nice. That will definitely do. 152 cash. It's not a lot. Let's uh, send a little bit more off to the uh, Sigmar's Haven to uh, ensure that we're not running dry. Something like that. And uh, let's uh, see what happens overnight. 
Uh, Toxaris has learnt Vital Shot. Molpadia has learnt Onslaught. Nice. Five other people are training. And, yeah, we've got an influx of cash. Cool. Um, well, that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have and will be joining me for the next. Remember to like these videos if you like them and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I shall see you next time for another day in more time. City of the Damned.